So guys, I've managed to rope Liv into doing a YouTube video with me. What's YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna do some assumptions. I put the question on my Instagram and you guys sent in some assumptions. So we're gonna answer those. Which is question number one. Question number one, you hated each other when you first met and now you're very close. We get asked this a lot, actually. Yeah, we initially first met, we had an argument, we got over it, and then we became quite close. Yeah, then we were really close, actually. Because we went to the South of France that summer, and, and we, we were, like, yeah. inseparable, so... But then when you left the show, yeah. it was a bit rogue, because... We of... kind of fell out a bit when I left the show. And that was to do with my ex, and also yours. And yeah, it was just and also many... just being on a TV show together, and the drama, and the stress. It was very toxic. And I think I took a massive break from that, and I kind of distanced myself from everyone. So we didn't really speak that much, but now we're close and hopefully we'll never fall out again. We will never fall out because we live together and we yes. will do for the rest of our lives. Okay, you've never had a conventional job before. Mm. <laughs> I used to work in the garden centre and I'm fond of those days. Liv made quiches in the garden centre. I center. used to work as a, I'll say cook, I cannot cook to save my life, uh, and I used to make quiches. And I loved it. I, on my gap year, had a waitressing job for literally, I worked in a place called Chimichanga and <laughs> I served Mexican food and oh my God, it was the hardest job ever. So yes, I used to work, we both used to work in hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even believe I just said that. I used to make paninis. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you always have a boyfriend. That is obviously end at you because I'm normally a singleton. So me and Liv live together. And when we both moved into our flat, we're both single and we said- This actually makes me laugh because we, we both got this flat and we were like, right. We're gonna have boys over for dinners. We're gonna do all these crazy things. This is our twenties. We've got to live our life. And now we've both got boyfriends. So we broke our rule of staying single for a year and both our boyfriends are younger than us. You know what's so weird? I never thought I'd date anyone my age. I always used to say I always want someone older. I always end up going with someone my yeah. age. Yeah. No, I was so anti dating someone younger than me. I was like, absolutely not. They need to be like at least like five, six years older than me, way more mature. But my boyfriend is so mature and he's a year and a half younger than me. Tris so. Tristan's incredibly mature until he sees Harvey and a Nerf gun. <laughs> and then it's like, what? <laughs> Turns out it's a 16 year old child. You'd love to get a pet dog someday. Tiffany and I do discuss this. We do. But our flat has beige carpets, which could be a mm. problem. So that and anyone drinking red wine can fuck off. <laughs> um. My sister got a dog when she was like 20. My mum's got about 800. And they're always like, when are you going to get a dog? But I literally, I don't know. I get scared of getting a dog because I'm like, it is hard work. It's hard work. And if the fucker shits somewhere, I'm going to end up picking it up. Yeah, I, I hate all of that. I hate like when they molt. I hate like the mess, but I love dogs. Like even coming here, if we're, we're filming away at the moment, we wouldn't be like, able to bring the dog. And if no. we just got it, it'd be kind of selfish just to dog exactly. it Exactly. But if I did get a dog, I'd love to get a Labradoodle. What the fuck is a Labradoodle? <laughs> no, I want a fucking Great Dane. So yes, no dogs for the moment. You hate watching yourself on Made in Chelsea. Very true. Very true. I just don't like watching it. I don't know, you just overanalyze yourself so much. And really, you know what you filmed, you know how it's happened and what's actually happened. So watching it back, I find you just get annoyed. Or I just question what the fuck I'm wearing or why I'm hungover. I quite like watching it back to see what other people have said about me. See, that part I miss. And then I get told and I'm like, oh, yeah. Little? Because you sometimes won't find out what other people have said about you until you're actually watching it. And then you're like, oh my God. But by the time you watch it, you can't then go to that person and go, no, why would you say this? I do that. Was... <laughs> Literally, Liv will show me something and I go, oh my God, I'm texting that person. How dare they say that? And Liv's like, it was months ago. Just let it go. <laughs> just, just grow up. Yeah. Uh, when the show first, when I first started on it, oh my God, we used to have to go watch it and have like all together. screening all together. I was like, oh my God, I look like a bloke and I sound like one too. So that I was nervous of. And then I used to watch it religiously, and then now and now I don't really. I went through a phase of like really not being able to watch it. No, just made me feel really I unwell. Think for, like, like mentally, for us, it's better not to. Yeah, I'm just pissed all the time and say things I shouldn't, and <laughs> and just a dick to people. <laughs> I'm surprised people actually don't think I've got anger management. Um, never been to the north. Never been to the north of England. I actually have been to sorry, Manchester. Sorry, do people think we don't leave Chelsea? <laughs> I've imagine. been once to the north. What were you doing out there? I went to an event in Manchester. Oh I my literally God. got the train, stayed in a hotel, went to the party, went back to the hotel. So that doesn't really count. I got shoved into the back of my friend's car with my cousin, drove to Manchester for the X Factor auditions. Obviously not for me. I was going to say, <laughs> what? Obviously. <laughs> and, um, 
queued. It, it felt like I was queuing up for a ride at Thought Park. Is that where the X Factor is? Well, it was the one that she got into, or she wanted to sign up for. Stayed in a holiday, and f literally three of us in this bed. I don't know, this whole thing was ridiculous. Was... So Manchester's probably the furthest we've both been up north. Oh, no, I've been to Scotland and stuff. Is that, is that north, though? I'd actually love to go to Newcastle. My sister, Athena, went to, my sister went to Newcastle Uni, and I really want to go on a night out there. A night out? God, what a thought. I know. That we'll probably be about 80 by the time we're allowed to go on a night out. And what's the next question? You have to deal with a lot of fake people with, due to your career. I would say with what we do, you do get a lot of people coming out of the woodworks going, hey, oh, I went to school with you. The old school friend yeah. who wants some help promoting something. Surely not. Literally, you'll have someone who you went to school with who you probably spoke to about once maybe, and they go, hey, um, we went to school together, remember me? I I've launched a new uh, pyjama company, can you promote them? And you go, wait, what? Because Literally. Obviously, any friend of ours, we'd want to help and do as much as we can for them, but... Well, <laughs> speak for yourself. You know what's so funny? Tiffany likes to sell diaries. Have I seen one diary? No. Well, you don't use a diary. I, you don't know? I can write my thoughts down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Next year. I was just thinking what's more dicky, saying you're a men or saying you're an influencer. <laughs> okay. You're both super, super confident. Negative. I'm definitely not. Obviously, people would think we're on TV, we post photos of ourselves all the time, we're really confident. But... I think if anything, it makes that makes it worse. Yeah. Like, I'm so over... I overanalyze everything about the way I look. Like I think Liz is a bit of a perfectionist. Like she'll take a photo of herself and she'll be like, "What do you think about this tiny piece Some of like small something piece on my of shit. yeah on my arm?" And I'm like, "I guarantee no one will notice that." But Liv is like a perfectionist. But I maybe that's that, because you're a photographer. I think that comes from being a yeah. But, but I think obviously you have people criticizing how you look every single oh, day. It is relentless. I messaging mean, you going oh my god you're like something looks awful just anything it's and constant isn't it, it is constant uh, what do you think you're most self-conscious about mm. which part of your body oh sorry that's my, a good question my stomach's rumbling by the way sorry what's my most i'm actually this sounds really bad but i'm not old but obviously i'm getting older i'm qu getting quite self-conscious about the fact that i have wrinkles on my face and i feel like sometimes when i look in the mirror i start to see them under my eyes and i'm like oh my god that is actually a thing that's happening now and you know when your makeup kind of sits in your wrinkles it dries into those yeah cracks. it dries into and then them. the more makeup you put on the worse it looks the worse it gets <laughs> and you're like what can i do so i think i'm quite self-conscious about that at the moment what about you my hair for sure yeah. but that's why it's so annoying though how like your confidence really affects your mood. Like if Definitely. I feel really self-conscious, I put my wig on. Yeah. But like, and I, I prefer the way I look without it. But I feel. I like... think a hundred percent, you look so much better with your short hair. Thanks. But that sure. is my that is my big self-conscious thing, and like yeah. it made me feel really low. Like I'll cry. Have you about ever it. had someone like send a really nasty message about your hair? Oh my god, yeah. When I started Chelsea, it was horrendous. And really. Like, I would get a comment about my hair, like someone going, "Lives hair shit. She needs to do this." She needs to do this. Like it was every single day. I got to the point where I was like, I can't even hear the word hair anymore. No. Like, it was, and then I came out, and then I told spoke about the alopecia stuff. Bet they felt fucking bad after that. You're, okay, you're party girls and love to drink. I would oh. say three years ago, yes. Oh my God, I was an animal. It's weird because I, I don't know if lockdown's like forced us to... I think it's age as well. I think when you're younger, yeah. you don't really like... I wouldn't care going out, getting shit-faced and then waking up and filming the next day. I don't feel no. hungover. Now, it takes me about three days to get my hangover. Oh I used to do nights. I would go out, go clubbing and I wouldn't sleep and I'd go straight to filming and I was absolutely fine. I, I honestly, that gives me the fear thinking I'd pull my now. lashes off my eyebrows, stick them back on again and show my face, put my wig on backwards. Up, ready to go. Oh God. Now I'm like, oh my God, I've got to, I'm filming tomorrow at eight. I must be in bed by nine. I actually, I hate the hangovers as I well. I hate hangovers. I don't actually enjoy, like drinking now just makes me sleepy. I just want to we can't even go out now, but like, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see when stuff opens again, like, if we will go out lots because i kind of feel like we won't i miss a nice dinner out but i don't miss climbing out raffles at 5 a.m but yeah live that you won't really like drink live would never have dinner and just have like a glass of wine like i would no, actually no. do that zero to 100 this one next thing you know tits out running out the king's road hello <laughs> i remember once you and you were like do you go for a drink this is pre-lockdown pre-everything and I was like, sure. And then you were like, okay, I'm going to go home. And I was like, sorry, I thought this was pre. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, sorry, what I that I don't understand mean? people who go for a few drinks and then go yeah. home. It's like, what are you You're doing? You're like, I'll have a few drinks. And you're like, right, I'm going out. And but I'm like, I'll, I'll drink. I remember going to events with you and I would use that as my pre-drinks. Oh <laughs> I my would God, go to an event. to love it. Nick all the booze. Like, literally just get legless. Chatting absolute shit. It'd be like a Monday oh. night. We're going to this event. We're literally so random. Drink all the drinks. Go out. Find the nearest, like, nightclub. God. Well, I was an animal. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've actually probably still are. But yeah, oh, that's, the, yeah, last of the, that's the last of the questions. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Liv. We for... bored you to death. Don't feel yeah. the need to watch any more. If you enjoyed it, though, and if you want to see Liv in more of my videos, then comment below. And I'm or sure. find me on OnlyFans. <laughs> and I'll give you a little shout out.